Let's have some Oreos. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. Let me get my lactate. Hold on. Ooh. I'll take it. Yeah. Oreo. Mmm. Mm -hmm. These are crispy boys. Taste the same since childhood. Correct. Consistency. For one point, what state originated the Oreo cookie? Michigan. No. Wisconsin. No. Virginia? Would you like a hit? Yes. Sure. Nickname the Empire State. New York. Hey, I was going to say New York next. <laughs> New York? Is it New York? Yeah. <laughs> no, I wasn't going to say New York. Yeah, I, that you was know, you were going to say New York. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can you match the plate to the state? Ooh. Ooh that rhyme. Yes. I love a plate to the state. Oh, I am Oh, so, so we just get to eat snacks today. Wait, yeah. but that means we're getting snacks the whole way through, or that's it? Oh. <gasps> <gasps> Oh, Cheetos. stop it, stop it. <laughs> Cheetos, ooh, ooh, ooh. Cheetos come from what southern state? Oh, Why did southern. I think it was a southern state? You southern. were thinking southern too, right? Yeah, yeah. I honestly hate Cheetos. California. Tennessee. I'm gonna go with my Cheeto looking guy, Tennessee. <laughs> it's not Tennessee. <laughs> then I'm gonna go with the other Cheeto looking guy, Florida. Florida. <laughs> no! Oh, man. This has to be Texas. Texas? Correct. Dang it! Texas? Correct. Oh. What? When I think of Texas, I think of like bigger. Yeah, everything's I bigger. agree. But the Cheeto, look, the Cheeto bags are always smaller. Does that look like somebody from Texas? Uh, no. <laughs> Never in my life would I think, you know Chester Cheetah be out here surfing in either California or Florida. So before Chester Cheetah, Cheetos had another mascot. Ooh. What was their original animal? The tumbleweed. That's what I <laughs> Was it an armadillo? A mouse, a dinosaur, or a tiger? An armadillo? Right. No. Tiger. No. What? Uh, mouse. Yes. And mouse. Correct. Mouse. Mouse. Correct. Yes, because of the cheese. Yeah, the Cheetos <gasps> mouse. Yep. Smart. Oh. oh. I was just going to say, like, I don't know if I want mice on my food, like, as a thing. Oh, that's but it's a cute mouse. Oh, wow. See, I wouldn't have bought it. That is adorable, <laughs> actually. I also didn't realize that they had a dash in it originally, so it was Cheetos instead of Cheetos. In the 80s, they're like, mm, maybe we should change it, change it to a cheetah. <laughs> I guess like yeah. Cheetos. Make it more fun. Yes, exactly. Like, again, like Cheetos mouse doesn't roll off, but Chester Cheetah, Chester Cheetos, Cheetos, like, it fits. Yeah. I, I think Chester Cheetah's a little more like, <laughs> yeah. But like, it's like, yeah. Cheetos. To cheetah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, it is a cloche. I know. Oh, that's what that's called. Is it weird that I know the sound of a cloche? I'm gonna give you some options of what's underneath that cloche. You can thank Ohio for this next delicious breakfast treat. Is it cinnamon toast crunch, pop tarts? Eggos or Frosted Flakes? Dang it, that okay, was none of the things mess. that I thought. Yeah. I go Eggos. Damn, I was gonna go Eggo too. Eggos. They're giving Pop-Tart. What was that doggy pop? What was that? <laughs> what was that? I'm gonna go with Pop-Tarts. The confidence is overwhelming. The I can't confidence. deny it. Raquel, what, what, what do you think it is? Also Pop-Tarts. Three, <laughs> two, one. It's oh. not enough. <laughs> oh! Pop-Tarts. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm so good at this game. <laughs> Yes! Let's go! Bang! I've had a Pop-Tart in years. Me too. Mm. You can thank dogs as well for the creation of Pop-Tarts. I knew it. In the 1960s, Kellogg's biggest competitor, Post, invented a process of dehydrating food and enclosing it in foil to keep it fresh. And this was first used for dog food. But then they wanted to adapt it into a toaster prepared breakfast pastry. Yeah, you eat dog food. I've done it before. I I've just done it. I was like, I was curious. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, Hershey. Oh, Hershey. Oh. Ooh. Hershey's. Hershey's. Hershey's milk chocolate. Okay, now yes. let me get my lactate for real. Pennsylvania. Yes. Yes. How did you know? <laughs> oh, my, my grandparents live in Pennsylvania. Oh. Pennsylvania. Already? You haven't even, <laughs> you haven't even had the lactate. Virginia. No. Vermont. <laughs> Pennsylvania. Yes. <laughs> because it was easy. Now I'm gonna ask you, which of these flags is Pennsylvania's? One, two, three, or four? Man, this is confusing. Oh no, oh no, no, no. <laughs> three. No. <laughs> four. It's two. No. Two. No. Uh, four. One. Yes! One. <laughs> <laughs> One. <Yeah>. Wow. <laughs> No! <laughs> yes! Let's go! Pennsylvania! Yes! 
Pepsi. Ooh. Gross. Snap. Pepsi? Hmm, talk to me, Pepsi. <laughs> I'm like, Pepsi, come on, tell me something. Flow Rider. <laughs> Mr. Worldwide. Utah. Yeah. Okay. New Jersey. Worldwide, Mr. 305. Dial it. This is also giving me like East Coast. Massachusetts. Uh -uh. I love that you're sticking up with your East Coast. Is it West Coast? It is actually East Coast. Oh. It's giving kind of Carolinas, though. Right? I was thinking that too. Yeah. North Carolina. Correct. Oh! oh not dude. Bad. North Carolina. Correct. Dang it, I was going to say North Carolina too. Jake Hall, baby. <laughs> North Carolina. Yes. Yeah, f you. Oh. It was invented as Brad's drink. It First of all, who's Brad? Who's Brad? Pitt? His name is Caleb Bradham. Oh. Um, so they were, were going to call it Brad's Pause. drink. Pause. Bradham. Pause. Yeah, Bradham. don't. Don't just go straight past that. Bradham? So Brad and Adam. Bradham. I have a bonus question for you. Christian Cavaletti broke the world record for the largest collection of Pepsi cans. Wow. Now, how many cans has he currently collected? I mean, in this picture itself, there's so many. Three, six, nine. Just count the picture <laughs> and then times that by like, Four, I don't five, know how many. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, go. 14, 15, 16, 17. Two? At least. I went higher. Whoa, you went really high. I went higher. Oh, yeah, I went 15,000. 321. I said 40,000. <laughs> the closest person is Benison. Oh. He currently has 12,402 Pepsi cans. Bro, wow. did you see that? My yeah. math was mathing. You know it kind of works. <laughs> okay. Well, he could do better. Do you really want a plaque on your wall that says you have no life? Is that, is that something you want to have? Ooh, oh, Aww, heck yeah. Oh, Pringles. Pringles, yes. Pringles. Bro, I love Pringles. What's your favorite flavor? Sour cream and onion, hands there down. You go. That was something that legitimately made me sad uh, growing up was the day that my hand didn't fit in these anymore. Pringles come from what Midwest state? Midwest. Oh, Illinois. Mm -mm. Michigan. Nebraska. Kansas. I mean, yeah, there are a lot of potatoes out in the Midwest. Damn, is this Indiana? Yes. No! I felt it, I felt it. Indiana, yeah. Jesus Christ. Indiana, Indiana, it's Thank Indiana. You. Indiana, good job with the Pringles. Good I like job. that. Yeah, yeah, dude. yeah All these states out here representing today. Look at y'all. Pringles wasn't actually its first name. Its oh. first name was Newfangled Potato Chips. No. Newfangled? Goodness, what is this Newfangled Chris? You can thank Illinois for this next snack. Is it Twinkies, Cheese Whiz, Sour Patch Kids, or Goldfish? Wow. They all sound pretty awesome. I want to say Sour Patch Kids. Twinkies? Sour Patch Kids. I'm going Goldfish. Cheese Whiz. Nope, it's a Twinkie. Three, two, one. Dang it! Come on! Yes! <laughs> Twinkie. I am so good. Oh, it's Twinkies. Really? No, I've actually never tried a Twinkie. What? Oh. It's good, right? Oh, I've heard it. Twinkies taste like fake cake, but I still like it. So you're I mean, not going to eat the Twinkie? No, I'm all good. Me personally? No. Um, like ass. I do have a bonus question though. Okay. Mm. The Twinkie became known what worldwide due to its reference in what 80s film? Was it E.T., Ghostbusters, Back to the Future, or Weird Science? Oh, it's giving Back to the Future. That is incorrect. Yeah, what? Back to the Future didn't have Twinkies. It's one of my favorite movies. Ghostbusters. Correct. You're about to punch me. <laughs> Ghostbusters? Yeah. Ghostbusters. I can see that's hilarious. It's a very Ghostbuster snack. According to this morning sample, it would be a Twinkie 35 feet long, weighing approximately 600 pounds. <coughs> that's a big Twinkie. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, bruh. Let's go. Bruh. Bruh. It doesn't matter. Everybody knows Lay's yeah. are delicious. See, I don't like Lay's, but they're good when you put Tap Tio in here. Lay's are created in a state nicknamed the Volunteer State. Volunteer State. Vermont? Yeah. Bernie Sanders is so nice, though. Virginia. <laughs> New Mexico. 
Ew. Ew. Utah. Arkansas. <laughs> it better be Tennessee. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> Tennessee. Tennessee. Correct! Dang it! They're so nice. Are they? Oh god! Uh, we got dude. some chips ahoy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. oh it's a fresh bag? Oh, it's, it's a, a fresh, fresh bag. Ah, oh, you should have got the chewy one. I was just about to say I didn't want to be rude, but you gotta get the cheese. I hate chips ahoy. Oh. That was nice! What state created Chips Ahoy? It's gotta be someone with the C. It's Maryland. Did you hear what she just said? It starts with, with, the, with the... It has to be something that starts with a C? No, no, it has to be some somewhere near the sea. Oh, oh near yeah. the sea. New Jersey. No. Alabama. No. Boston. Rhode Island. Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Why am I always doing that? Massachusetts. Correct. No! Oh my god. I knew it. I He's knew on it. Fire. In Massachusetts? <laughs> oh, Thank you. Dang it. So I'm gonna go to America's Got Talent. <laughs> like, point at a snack. Any snack. I know where it's from right <laughs> away. Uh, Massachusetts. <laughs> Massachusetts, they do like pirates. Oh yeah, they're I mean the state's shaped like a gun. What is that? <laughs> Get it off! Oh, it's scary! That's the Chips Ahoy mascot. You're mm -hmm. looking for his name. I'm looking for a name. Is it Cookie Guy, CC Cookie, Chippy, or it doesn't have a name? It's gotta be Chippy. <laughs> it's not Chippy. It, don't, it doesn't have a name. It has a name. I'm going, they didn't really try that hard. Cookie Guy. <laughs> <laughs> cookie Guy! <laughs> it's gotta be Cookie Guy. <laughs> <laughs> the worst name of all of the names that we've done today. They're like, oh God, we got the best mascot. We just gotta name it. What do we think? Cookie uh, Guy. Cookie guy. Oh my god, it's root beer. Root beer uh, is with nasty. With peace and love. I hate root beer. Snap. Crackle and pop. Hey, yo. It's not good. It's a good one. It's a good one. I also am not the biggest fan of root beer. It's got too many bubbles. That's what I don't like about soda. Root beer comes from what? <gasps> West, Coast. West Coast. West Coast. West Coast. This is a Kansas thing. Montana. No. Damn. Is it Oregon? <laughs> Washington? No. It's the birthplace of the internet. What the f Idaho. No. It better be Montana. <laughs> New Mexico. We said all of them. Is it Alaska? I don't know. <laughs> Is it California? Is it California? California. There's no freaking way. Oh, I've never man. Seen anyone in California drink root beer. California. Correct. Yep. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. The restaurants. What? I've never been into one. The restaurants. There's a Did you not know? There are A and W fast food chains that make like burgers and stuff. I shamed California in the beginning. You should do because root beer is disgusting. It's like medicine. Trash. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Yes. It's straight. Medicine. It tastes like medicine. You can mm. thank New Jersey for this chocolate snack. Everything is legal in New Jersey. <laughs> um. Are we just gonna take a guess? I was gonna say, a hostess like snack cakes with a little swirl on them. Okay. Is oh, that, is that's that a your, good guess. Is that your guess? I mean. Cause I had multiple chips and you like it. it. <laughs> Are you confident in yourself? Is it the hostess ho-hos? Mm. Is it the raisinettes? I mean. Is it Milky Ways or is it M&M's? Milky Way. Milky Way? Yeah. Wait. Milky Way. It's the hostess ho-hos. M&M's. M&M's. Three, two, one. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh! oh! Dang it! Put it back, put it back. It literally said ho-hos just because you said ho <laughs> Ah, son of a- What? So now I changed it. You're That's welcome. so cold. Because I, I really hate M&Ms. No, you know what? It's the peanut M&Ms. Fire, the yellow bag. Fire! Mm. Bonus question. What is the world records for the tallest stack of M&Ms? Like individual stacked M&Ms? Mm -hmm. Can I open this up and try? Sure. Uh, that's hard. Oh my god. Yeah, there's no way. It's two. There's no. Come on. No, this is a very annoying experience. <laughs> 63. 111. 15. 8. 8? 7. The closest answer wins this one. So, I'm going to give this point to Raquel. Yay! Dang it! How many? Ah! The record for the tallest stack is 7. Oh! Wow. Nice. Ah! What the f***? World record is only 
seven. Eat wow. them. Just eat them. The winner for today's episode is Raquel. Venison. Yeah. Jackson. <laughs> yes. I liked the states. I liked the plates. There you go. <laughs> and I liked my date. Aww. Yeah. That's, a good one. That's right. Yeah. Thanks for watching this episode. What food should we guess next? Let us know in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe for more React videos. Bye. Bye.